what a change a night makes. It's not blowing, it's not raining. I'm on the beach at the port of Ness in the upper north west side of the Isle of Lewis. Found a nice little quiet spot down by the uh, harbour to uh, overnight in the van and woke up to quite a pleasant morning. So far my time on the uh, Outer Hebrides has been uh, pretty mixed weather wise but there's a bit of uh, light sunshine drifting through this morning how nice is that? One of the features around here seems to be these lovely sandy beaches. Beautiful white sand, can almost be Caribbean light. And the light's actually really nice this morning. Not too contrasty, it's actually very pleasant. The plan for the day is to actually uh, start to head south, keep into the west coast, heading down towards Kalinish, where the, there is the uh, stone circle. It is so nice to be able to have a walk along the beach this morning. and the waves are rolling in. Not as severe as yesterday though. So it was that after my stroll along the beach, I returned to the van and decided to head south, stick into the west coast. This was taking me on the A857 which would then join the A858 down towards Kalinish. I also decided that I was going to call in at the Black House Museum on the way down. This is a village that has been preserved uh, from the old crofters cottages which were all thatched. However, it was Sunday, and Sunday is recognised predominantly on the Outer Hebrides as the Sabbath, and therefore very little is open. And uh, it was as I was travelling south that I thought, well, both the Black House Museum and Kalinish may not be open. So I thought what I would do is uh, skirt round them and continue south. And that was going to take me along to Ewick or Uwe, and I had the intention of just finding myself a place for the night. As I travelled south, the landscape changed back again as I approached North Harris into what I'd become familiar with on my travels north. Uwe area is also famous for the discovery of the Uwe chessmen. These were discovered in 1831. And so I arrived at Uig Beach, where I was going to stop for the night. The drive down had been wet most of the way actually, raining on and off, and it hadn't really changed when I arrived at Uig Beach. There is a camping field nearby, but most of the camper vans seem to be parking in a small car park. But there are all the facilities you could wish for there, so there are no real problems. I thought the thing to do as it was raining was just settle down and make a brew. To my surprise, as the day progressed, the sun came out and we ended up with an absolutely gorgeous sunset. By the end of the day, the car park was virtually full, camper vans, motorhomes. 
The next morning it was set off in search of my next destination. On the drive to and from the car park where I parked overnight, there was the giant wooden sculpture of a Yui chessman, the kings depicted, carved in oak. The sculptor was Stephen Hayward and it was commissioned in 2006 by the Yui Community Council. 